I've been through some experiences that have gotten me close to death, but that was close. The actor said Edward James Olmos is speaking publicly for the first time about his throat cancer diagnosis. The actor, 76, chatted with Mando Fresco on the Mando and Friends podcast this week where he said, This would be the first time publicly I'll be coming out and saying it, but I had throat cancer. Detailing that his last round of radiation took place late last year, Olmos continued, I just finished getting through it. December 20 was my last radiation. The week before, I finished my chemo, and for months and months I was on radiation and chemo as it attacked my throat. I still have right here on my throat a bump where my lymph nodes, they burned them out because they shot this area with radiation. He added, continuing his candid conversation, Olmos recalled how his doctors told him that they weren't sure how his voice would sound after the cancer treatment. The doctors would say, I have five doctors. The doctors would say right before I started, there's only one thing we have to tell you, we do not know what you're going to sound like, he said. I said, what? Almost then detailed more about the treatment he underwent, stating, we're shooting your vocal cords, we're shooting your throat, where you eat, where you swallow, where you talk, breathe, everything goes through here. So we're shooting it. And it becomes the hardest place to shoot to use radiation and chemo. The Academy Award-nominated star continued, adding, a lot of my friends have passed because of this. It's a very strong disease. The Selena star said the cancer took a lot out of him and he detailed that he lost 55 pounds and all of his muscle, though he said he has been working over the last four months to regain his strength. I was in good condition, and I still am, he said. I swim a mile a day at least, sometimes two miles a day, every day seven days a week, and then I row, and I do weights. Almost concluded by reflecting on his cancer journey, stating, there were times in the months that I was undergoing the treatments that the body gives up, and I didn't want to take my food through my stomach. They wanted to put tubes in and feed me nutrients because I couldn't swallow. They had to get 2,500 calories into my body every day. That was ridiculous. That was so hard. It was an experience that changed me, the understanding of how wonderful this life is, he added. I've been through some experiences that have gotten me close to death, but that was close.